guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Okay, just want to add this really quick in there. Uh, from time to time, I'll get these YouTubers that'll pop into my channel and they'll start talking about, seriously, why would anyone spend $443 for two quarts of paint? Well, I'll tell you why. Do you have any idea what the price is, not to put this company down in any way, of a Supernova DMP or DMP Supernova Infinity and Blade? Well, the price of a 100-inch Supernova is around uh, three to four thousand, three to three to four thousand dollars. Now, this right here is the big 180 coming in at 180 inches, and then my screen is custom cut, so it's 1610. Mind you, this screen on a supernova would be around 15 to 16 thousand dollars on the big 180, only 554 dollars. So, consider the fact that what sounds better to you, 16 to 15 to 16 thousand dollars, or 554 dollars, or three thousand to four thousand dollars or four hundred and forty six dollars as a matter of fact four hundred and forty three dollars that's for a hundred and twenty to a hundred and fifty if you want to go hundred inch to hundred inch or a hundred inch one quart is about three hundred and sixty eight and mind you like I said still the supernova is around three thousand to four thousand dollars so you kind of do the math on that well also took on to explain to you that if you watch my demonstrations trust me Go through my video archives. Look how I do my test demonstrations. Now, I see the same test demonstrations. I'm sorry not to put anybody down who's doing this line of business, but I noticed that the background of the screen is really, really dark. There's no real light hitting the screen. And they'll have a light out in the distance, or they'll have a window here open or a door, and there'll be no light connecting with the screen. And they'll say, hey, look, the screen is ambient light projection. It really isn't. If you look at my screen, you can see the light that comes in from the kitchen that hits here. The light hits here. I have a center light hit here. There's light hitting here, and there's light coming down across the screen here. So there's light literally hitting the screen. Mind you, my screen is 180 inches. I have a small living room next to the kitchen, and it can't escape any form of ambient light whatsoever. So I have done demonstrations with more light than this, with like 20 to 2,400 watts of light nailing the screen directly. Now the reason why we do these demonstrations is I never the YouTuber who does screen paint who says, I don't know why anybody would want to have a screen in all that annoying light. What's not annoying if your screen performs well and it looks fantastic is considered to be amazing. And what I want to add real quick, if, you're, if your mindset is that, hey, projectors should be used in really dark environments, then you kind of missed the boat because I'll tell you why. People more and more today are replacing their TVs with projectors. They want a screen that can be used in a fully lit environment. They want a screen that can look nice, some of beautiful colors, that looking amazingly realistic, and they want to be able to use it in a fully lit environment. Why? Because they're using their projectors for more than just movies. If you got it in your mindset that they're going to be using that screen for movies only, you missed out. Because people now are using it in the daytime, in the afternoon, and yeah, at nighttime they're going to be watching movies. For instance, you ever watch it? You look at it. Um, ABS forums. Or I don't like ABS forums, but I'm, bleh, I'm just going to say the name anyway. Well, ABS forums are one of these forum sites, and someone shows off their projector setup. And you'll notice that they'll have the projection screen here coming down, but they'll have a TV behind it. The reason why is because they're only using the projection screen at night or when the, um, when the area is dark, and that's when they'll use their projection screen, and in the morning they'll use a TV. So that's what they're doing. But with our screens, you don't have to worry about that. With our screens, you can completely replace your TV. If you look in my environment, you notice that there is no TV in my environment at all whatsoever. So this is how amazing our screens are. And look at my environment. My environment, look at the light. Now just, just look at this. Look at the light in my environment compared to what you see on people that are doing demonstrations with their screens. Look how dark their environments are and look how light my environment is. This is my everyday environment without the bar light. So you know, if you're watching somebody's video and the majority of 90% of their videos are in a dark environment, I guarantee you those environments are only dark when they're doing a demonstration against that screen or I guess when they're watching the screen. But if they turn on any lights like this, that screen is going to fail miserably. Okay, so this is why companies go out and they spend the money for our screens because they look at their demonstrations. Look, I saw your demonstration. I thought it was amazing because you're doing this in a fully lit environment and the screen looks fantastic. That's what they want. They want a screen that's going to be able to outperform some of these top screens on the market and not cost them an arm and a leg. So our price is fantastic. It's easy to apply. And you can use it in a fully lit environment no matter the condition. Short throw, long throw, it doesn't make a difference of the color of your walls. The screen looks amazing. So let me show you what we have up here against the wall. We have these cinema 
gray 5D by Elite Screens, Dark Star 9. Mind you, this screen right here is probably between $1,300 and up. This is between two and $3,000 and up. Over here, we have the uh, Supernova DMP. This is their Infinity and Blade um, sample sheets. Right here, one's Infinity, one's in Blade. We're talking about three to $4,000 just for a 100 inch. Over here, we have the uh, Supernova right here, Infinity and Blade. I can't tell which one is which. This one right here, three to four thousand dollars. Over here by Stewart Screen, we have their Firehawk G4, um, probably between seventeen hundred dollars and up, could be less. And over here we have by Seymour AB, the AB 1.2, probably in the range of thirteen hundred dollars and up, maybe more. All right. And then just to add insult for injury, we have a bar light taped in the middle of the screen. Hoo ha! All right, so let's get this started. Tell me which screen looks better to you. Now we'll get right up here in the center. I have sunlight coming in now. Look at my screen. And you can see there's light coming in because you see the light coming here and bouncing back up. And look at this. Now, for the fellow who said, hey, why would anyone spend $443 for your screen paint? Well, this is why. This is why. And come over here on an angle and come all the way back here in my corner and look at my screen. 500 watt bar light taped to the screen. No problem at all whatsoever. All right, so grab another video really quick. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, it's really quick. There we go. Wonder if it meant. It does this from time to time. My uh, watch my palm doesn't respond from time to time. So let that work its way out. So yeah, just show you this. And look at this, look at this, look at this on a white surface. Look at our screen on a white surface compared to these screens. Look at that. All right. Go back here for a minute. I'm gonna grab this video right here. Showing you a little bit of everything. Okay. Sorry, my internet gets a little crazy from time to time. While that's waiting to load up, I'm going to show you from here what we got already. Look at this. So here we are. We are watching. This is on YouTube. And look at my screen compared to what you're looking at right now. Look at this. We're right up in front of this. All right. Let's come back here. And then you tell me what you see. See, sun's coming through the window. colors. Like I said, look at all the light that's hitting this screen. Now see, I remember when I was talking about, you know, these demonstrations, 
uh, against these uh, my um, against these screens against my screen and I was talking about something called oversaturation of contrast levels a lot of people kind of laughed at that no but no here's the thing oversaturation of contrast levels is where you have a screen that has an unbalanced level of contrast which means when it comes to pure white colors um, these screens actually become darker when it comes to be when they hit these particular surfaces our screen does not have that problem you look at our screen it has a perfect balance of contrast so now look at this I can come over here and I can lean right to the side my screen has perfect angle gain no matter where you stand So no matter where I stand in the room, this screen has amazing angle gain. Look at this. Look, at the, look how beautiful the color is on our screen. Look at this. I can come over here. I can bring my camera all the way over to the edge. The screen still looks amazing. Now you can see there's light coming in through the window because you see it cascade on the screen. Now just imagine if you will, you have a screen paint now that you can paint on any surface that you want. You can turn anything into a high performance screen. It won't cost you an arm and a leg and on top of that when you consider the fact that it will be able to outperform a three to four thousand dollar supernova, a two to three thousand dollar elite screen, a Seymour AV, the Firehawk G4 with no problem whatsoever. Look at this. You can use this with a short throw because I had people ask me like, will the screen work with a short throw? Look at the screen on the short throw. I've done this even on a long throw. And you can use your projection screen in the morning, in the afternoon, and even at night. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching.